Hello YouTube, this is the iPhone Fan 123 bringing you another tech video. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long guys, I've been sort of busy with sophomore year and all um, in high school. So, uh, here we go with our next set of reviews. I'll have one or two posted within the next two weeks. This is the first of several to come. In this video we will be reviewing the Logitech Performance Mouse MX. Uh, now just a little bit of background about this mouse. It is wireless. It runs on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, I believe, so it's not Bluetooth. It requires a receiver, which I'll show you in a minute, but that is absolutely nothing to be worried about because of how cool the receiver is. So, um, again, made by Logitech, it is recharge. It has a rechargeable battery. Uh, this is the receiver. I'll show you a little more about that. It has a cool scroll, uh, scroll wheel. Sorry, that's hard to say. Um, cool scroll wheel uh, design here that lets you switch between clicky scrolling and free scrolling. Uh, it has this new uh, dark field laser tracking technology which is absolutely fantastic as well as several uh, programmable buttons. Um, and just for a quick reminder this is actually compatible with both Mac and PC and in includes a driver's CD for both although you don't really need it for Mac. So, okay, uh, I actually have it out of the box already, but I'm going to go to the box just to show you what you get. The mouse will be right there, very well displayed, very, very high quality packaging on Logitech's part. You'll get the mouse right here, uh, it's a little plastic cutout, um, and you get the, the unifying receivers right there. Open it up and you'll get some extras under here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there'll be an extra box, stuff like that. Um, and then there's some more Logitech promo stuff. Your hand is poised. You can conquer almost any surface. Blah, 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 blah. It's a very good packaging on Logitech's part. And here it has some more graphics about the, t the technology behind the mouse, what it looks like, and what it does. Um, so let's move on to the mouse itself. All right, guys. So as you can see, you're up on a tripod there. Um, I just set this up using an old music stand of mine. So this is something new we'll be seeing in a lot of my videos. It's a nice, stable tripod. Um, for the iPhone. Okay, so um, here out in front of me is what we have that comes in the box. So you get this sort of strange floppy case. Um, it's got a nice lined interior. It's sort of soft and foamy and on the outside it's got this cool black, matte, uh, matte black finish which I actually really like and it's got the Logitech logo right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sort of still getting used to the camera so sorry about that guys. Um, and then, so all of these these two extras will be bundled inside of here, just so you know. And then you get your uni uh, unifying receiver, um, cool little feature, I'll show you that again in a second. You get your cable, this is a charging cable for the, uh, for the USB port on the front of the mouse. And you get this cool uh, USB adapter, so this is a wall adapter for if you need to charge your mouse on the go or something like that. I'm not sure what they had in mind, but it is a cool addition. Um, now the only sort of gripe I have about this case is it's kind of useless in a way for this particular mouse because, so here's the mouse here, the mouse does not fit inside the case. Um, I'm not going to try because trust me I know it doesn't. Um, so this is definitely an accessory only case and because I don't travel a lot myself, I do not use this case for anything other than housing my very nice uh, Bowers & Wilkins C5 headphones. So. This is actually, so if you've seen my, my review on the C5 headphones, um, you'll know that the case it comes with, the C5s come with, are absolute crap. Um, so instead I use uh, this nice case for the headphones and they work really well and I just stick it in my backpack um, every day on my way to school and we are good to go. And I actually, since I use this only at home, I just leave all this stuff here. Um, so yeah, so those are the accessories, you had, uh, AC adapter, uh, unifying receiver, and a bundled cord for the USB charging. Okay, let's move on to the uh, mouse itself. So let me just make sure you guys are able to see all this. Alright, some of that might have been out of view. Alright, so here's the mouse. You guys, I'll do a nice little 360 view for you here. Uh, and then we'll bring in the, the camera close. So this mouse retails for about 90 bucks, at least when I bought it, which was last June. So just so you guys know, I've had this mouse for over, what, like five months. It's uh, January now. I've had it, it's, let's see, so it's six months, seven months, sorry. Um, I've had this mouse for a very long time. I've been using it every single day for my schoolwork. I just hook it up to my Mac. 
which I hook up to my monitors over there, um, which is fantastic setup. Um, I'll post it if you guys are curious. So um, here's the mouse itself. As you can see, it's a very good looking mouse. Yeah, it's very matte finished. It's not it's not too shiny. It's not too, you know, out really out there. It's not too obnoxious, but it does look like a very high quality, very well-made mouse. Um, and it is. Logitech really did it well this time. They have their little logo there. Um, and I'll just walk you through some of the features on the mouse. So going from, I guess, let's say front to back, uh, we have our mini USB charging port. Let me just stand up a sec to make sure you can see that. Okay. Um, so, what you're looking at is right there is the mini USB charging port. All right, I'm gonna pull the camera off the stand now so you can see better. All right, so up and close and personal with the mouse. You get your from front to back. You get your mini USB connector, and this is nice because you can charge the uh, mouse while you're using it. Uh, unlike a lot of other mouse mice mice uh, in the past, where you have to uh, put it into a cradle or something to use it, which kind of sucks. I've had one of those before. Um, so yeah, great future by Logitech, very well thought out. Now, moving forward, you have your two clicker keys. I mean, there's not really too much to say about them. They are parted down the middle, and it's actually just one big piece of plastic up here. It's parted, um, and it bends, which is a good idea. Um, one thing I do like about the clickers is they're not too loud. I've had some mice that are just, you know, you click and it goes like, cluck, cluck every single time. This one's a little more subtle, although you'll definitely hear it if it's the only thing in the move in, in the room going on. Um, you got your standard left, right clicker that works fine, no complaints. Um, now you get your scroll wheel, and there's a lot of stuff to say about the scroll wheel, but I will say this. So with the Logitech Performance MX mouse, you get two options. You get a free scrolling mode, which I don't know if you can see that, but the wheel is actually... There you can hear it. There you go. The wheel is actually spinning freely. Um, which is very nice for long documents and such. But if you want to scroll, if you want to uh, turn on a rather more convenient or con sorry conventional mode, you just click this little button there. It's a uh, it's a uh, mechanical button and not electronic or anything. Then it starts to ratchet like a normal mouse, and you can hear that, uh, which is also a very cool setting. Um, in addition to up and down functional uh, functionality, it has left and right capabilities. Uh, as well as a button click uh, capability where you press down on the scroll wheel and it'll click. Although that, it, that is kind of awkward sometimes because you'll get a little side to side every time you try that. So I don't really use that function too much, but it was nice of Logitech to put it in there for us. Um, okay, so moving on to the rest of the mouse, uh, we've covered the front. Moving along the left side, you have your back and forward keys, which are very nice. They're well made. They look great with the silver finish here. Um, and these can be programmed with the Logitech Setpoint software to do basically anything. Right now, I just have it. They come pre-programmed as standard, you know, just regular back and forth uh, functions. And then we have our... So this we have a little button beneath that that says Zoom on it. And I actually do not use this for Zoom. I have wired this up to my Apple Q setup, so I can quickly quit any application, um, which is pretty nice. I mean, say it, it, I don't have to reach my keyboard, I guess, to quit the app. I mean, it's just personal choice. I like using the Apple Q link. Um, and with the Logitech uh, Setpoint software, or whatever they call it, may not be that, um, it's very easy to hotwire I guess, any uh, key combination to any of these buttons, which is a very cool feature, and I really like it, okay? Um, and you may or may not have seen this before, but this thumb rest place here is actually a button in itself. Um, it has a little icon down there, and you just press basically down on that, and this whole rubber area is the button. And I use this to activate my expose in um, uh, Lion right now, uh, which is a very cool function. Uh, just to see all my windows open at once. And uh, this is probably my most used function on this mouse, and I absolutely love it. Um, now, let's see. You, uh, above that, you have your DPI or battery life um, display there. Uh, so you can see it says DPI or battery life. Um, and basically what these are is, is a series of three LEDs. I'll go ahead and turn the mouse on and off so you guys can see them. So the on-off on switch is on the bottom, middle on the right hand, left-hand side, sorry. Um, and so it's in the off position now. I'll just go ahead and turn it on so you can see what they look like. Very bright, cool looking LED, green LED lights. Um, and it'll either, uh, so there are several functions on the mouse where you can 
adjust the DPI and again that's using the set point technology that they give you um, I just use it for battery life since I just keep my DPI the same pretty much I don't play any games where uh, it's required to um, you know change the DPI but that is available on this mouse and I don't know the exact specs I'd look it up but it, they are it is a very wide spectrum of DPI capability so just keep that in mind it, uh, this mouse was definitely built with some amount of gaming in mind um, and it works perfectly for all the gaming I'll be, I've been do doing. Um, so, okay, that's the DPI slash battery level indicator. There are three green LEDs. Um, there's nothing special on the back of the mouse. It is contoured very nicely. Uh, for my hands, I have smallish but long hands, I guess, long fingers, and it works absolutely perfectly for me. Like, the way this fits ergonomically, I, I don't have any complaints. Um, let's see, on the bottom of the mouse, uh, you have these little uh, black... These are little black reflective strips, and what they are are basically they provide the cushion on which the uh, mouse uh, glides, uh, which is a nice feature, so you're not going to be like scratching the sensor or anything, obviously, with this. It glides fairly nicely on a desktop like mine, and I actually use a nice uh, mouse pad for my uses, and I'd actually very highly recommend getting one. And in this little compartment here, you can push down there and you'll get your battery, um, which I believe you can upgrade, but I don't see why you would, because I've charged this maybe five or six times since I got it. That's maybe once a month, um, maybe with an hour's usage every day. That's very impressive. Do the math. It's um, The battery life on this thing, I just have to say, is astounding. So that's it for the uh, technical portion of this video. Check out part two for my real uh, opinions on it, as well as a little bit more information. And once again, I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, please check out the second part to this video as well as my other videos on other things as well. All the views help. Keep them coming. Thank you very much, guys.